Won't Stand Down by Muse. It's a song I'm talking you through today. Like all my videos, if you could like and subscribe, that would really help me out tremendously. And if you want the full notation for this song, if you want the full drum score, I'll leave that in the link below. So we've got quite a few sections. I'm just going to go through the main parts today. I'm going to play it up to speed first of all, and then I'm going to break it down super slow with on-screen notation so you know exactly what's being played. Here's the verse. goes like this. So let's break this down. It's got a kind of half time feel because the snare drum is on beat three. We can do one bar at a time. Um, the first bass drum you hear is beat four from the previous bar. So the first bass drum isn't beat one. So the first bar is going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So let's just go back over that. The first bar of the main groove, we've got like a, a push snare at the end. One, two, three, four, and, and again, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. Let's go from line two. Three, and four, and one, two, three, Four and one and two, three, four. And then we get to this tricky bar with the bass drum. Um, we've got two bars here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, bass, bass, and then right, bass, bass, right, both foot. So for this, I would just practice kind of going right foot, foot, right foot, foot, and then just maybe loop that right foot, foot, right foot, foot, right foot, foot. Right, and start to speed it up gradually. Let's do them two bars again. It's the bar with the one above it. Three and four and one, two, three, four. Bass, right, bass, bass, right, snare, and. And obviously, you keep your right hand playing throughout that to keep the time in. It's quite tricky. Then you've got the two dots at the end of that bar. It means we repeat back, so we go back to the beginning. We play it all again, and then we skip to the second time bar that has a two above it, and so which is the last line. Let's do the last line. It goes three and four and bass and snare, right foot, 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 right foot, foot, both, and one. So we've got some tricky triplets here. The first one is on the first bar with that hi-hat and two uh, eighth note triplets. Right foot, foot, right foot, foot. And then on the second bar, we've got um, a group of uh, 16th note triplets going into eighth note triplets. So it starts with the hi-hat and kick, and then two bass drums nice and quick. Right foot, foot, both foot. Let's do that bottom line again. So basically the last line, three and four and one two three right foot 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 right foot foot both and one it's going to be quite hard to get that phrase in but the more you listen to it and break it down and build it up like one bit at a time um, it will soon start to come together then we get to the chorus. Now we've got a couple of bars kind of like real heavy with the band before the vocals come in. And we've got a few bars at the end of the chorus before the verse starts again. So have a listen to this chorus section. It goes like this.
So let's break this down super slow. It's all on the crash cymbal. Now, there is a double kick in this track. Now, if you haven't got a double kick, what I'd recommend you do is, uh, when you get more than a couple of kicks in a row, just do one bass drum instead of like the four or the three bass drums. So you can still play this with one foot, but instead of doing, say, three bass drums, you're just doing one instead. You can still play the track, um, but I'm gonna go through it as it is on the track. The first bar, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and a. Second bar goes one, and two, and a, three, and snare, high, floor, floor. Then we get to the third bar, which is where the vocals come in. We're going to go one and a two and a three and a four and a. And this groove happens loads throughout this track. So let's just, I mean, let's just do it one foot, just to kind of, you know, it's quite hard to do up to speed with one foot. I can't play up to speed with one foot, but um, let's just do it one foot slowly. We're going to go both foot, both foot, foot, both foot, foot, both foot, foot, foot. And again, two, three, for one and a two and a two and a four and a. And then we get to the fourth bar. We play this groove pretty much until the last seven bars. Um, and a lot of that is just like the band really rocking out before the vocals come in on uh, at the second verse. So um, let's go from the fourth line down fourth line down it changes a little bit here so we're going to go one and a two and a three and a four and flam on the snare both hands together one slightly in front and then the second bar goes one two three four left right and then the last bar it goes rest left right snare snare crash snare crash both the snare snare that's quite tricky up to speed. Let's do all of that line. So one, two, three, all of the fourth line. Three and four and one two, and a two and a three and a four and one, two, three, four and a one. And the last line goes one, two, three, four, and a one, and two, and a three, and four, and a one, two, three, four, and a right, left foot, both, left, right foot, flam on the floor, Tom, and that will bring us in to the second verse. So. The main part of that chorus is that bar that we did a couple of times. It just repeats itself one, two, three, four, five, five or six times in that chorus before it changes. Then we get to second verse. Second verse is pretty much exactly the same as the first verse. Now the second chorus is a little bit different. Again, we've got like four bars of like real heavy kind of instrumental playing before the vocals come in. But have a listen. Sounds like this. Okay, so let's go through this one bar at a time. It's where the crash symbol um, is choked right after that heavy section, um, after the second verse. It goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, and up. And then we're into the second line. Second line goes three and four. And one and two and a three and high high floor floor both the hands and the hands the 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 the. That's that same bar that we'd have 
in the previous chorus. Um, the third line's the same, the fourth line's the same, the very last line, again, like the first chorus, the, the last line is, uh, is a little bit different. Let's do the last line. Three, and, four, and. One, and uh, two, and uh, hands and that brings us into like the interlude or like the bridge section let's do all of that second chorus without stopping three and four and one two three four second bar one two three four and one two If you've only got one bass drum and you can't get the speed for that bar that repeats itself with that double kick you could literally kind of go one e and a two and a three e and a four e and one so you like i said instead of doing the four kicks you're just doing a one one e and a two and a three e and a four and one so there's always ways of simplifying it if you need to then we get to the interlude have a listen Sounds like this. We've got a lot going on here. The first bar, one, two, three, four, and a. Second bar, one, two, and a, three, four, and a. Third bar, one, two, three, four, and a. And the second line, the fourth bar, one, two, and a, three, four. And then we get to this tricky double kick pattern. We're going to go one E and a two E and a three E and four E and a. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and four E and a. And then line three. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. So in the middle, we've got this real quick double foot to the snare. Snare and crash. Up to speed, that's, that's really quite quick. Let's do that third line, that first bar again. Three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a next bar. One e and a two e and a three e and four e and a. And then we get to line four. Four, three, and four, and one E and a two E and three triplet, four triplet. Now I'm just playing snare high floor, snare high floor. Let's do that bar again. Three and four and one E and a two E and three triplet, four triplet. Then the next bar, one E and a two. Hands, hands, 
Then we go to the last line. Three and four and one e and a two and three and a four e and a one e and a two and three. Hi, hi, four, 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 crash. I actually didn't play enough high toms there. It doesn't really matter as long as you play them triplets. So from them last um, four sets of triplets, we're going to go crash, nest, 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 hi, 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 floor, floor, floor. So the last set of triplets, we're going to go crash, s, 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 high, 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 floor, 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 in. Doesn't really matter if you get the right drums, as long as you play triplets, 16th note triplets around the kit at the end, that's the main thing that will bring you into your next section. Now we've got an eight bar outro, it's just an instrumental, like real heavy, really kind of like really giving it some. Um, I'm not going to play up to speed because it's just using the same rhythms that we've done already in the track. So I'm just going to break it down. So let's do it. Here we go. We're going to go from the first bar. Three and four and one, two, three, four and a right left foot, both and a right foot, hands foot, right left, second line. One, two, three, and a right left foot, both and left two and four and a one e and a two e and a three e and four e and a third line down, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and four e and a last bar. One and a two and a three and a four e and a last bar again three and four and one e and a two and a three e and a four e and a little bit quick on that last bar three and four and one e and a two and three e and a four e and a little bit quicker two three four one e and a two and a three e and that's a real nice finish. So again, like I said, if you haven't got a double kick, if there's two kicks, always use one. In fact, if there's four kicks, just use one. So you can always play the same kind of rhythms without that double kick. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching guys. It is a tough track. It's real tricky, especially if you haven't got a double pedal, but it's a great fun track to get into and listen to. And um, yeah, let me know how you got on and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.